The tail of the tape, we've got a 27-year-old Tyler Jones coming in at 5'11", 156 pounds against Kevin Souza, 24 years of age, 6 foot tall, 156. Duke Rufus, if you look at the height of these gentlemen, they are championship height. But we're going to send it right to our ring announcer, Mike Hansen. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is scheduled for three rounds in the APFC Lightweight Division, sponsored by LimitlessX.com and Sabor Tropical. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. Wearing white with green, he stands 5 feet 11 inches tall. Official weight, 156 pounds. He comes into the cage tonight with four victories, one defeat from Chicago, Illinois, Tyler Funky Bones Jones. And across the cage, his opponent fighting out of the red corner. Wearing black with gold, he stands six feet tall. Official weight, 156 pounds. He comes in tonight with five victories, two defeats. Fighting out of Guadalupe, Arizona, Kevin Souza. And your referee in charge, Tom DeVellis. We've got Tyler Jones in the blue corner with the green and white trunks. Kevin Souza in the black and gold. Jump to the center of the ring, getting final instructions from the referee, Devo, Tom DeVellis. I don't expect these guys to waste any time getting after it here. No. We got both fighters. Oh, heavy kick by Tyler Jones. Jones stalking forward through the head kick and then changed levels right into the shot. I'm liking the pressure here. He's in a good position with Souza against the cage. Let's see where he transfers from here. Tyler Jones pressuring Kevin Souza against the cage. Souza, take his breath, reversing. And now it's Souza pressing Jones. Now, in this position here against the cage, Souza has a nice body lock, but the principle here is where the head goes, the body follows. So what we can maybe look to see for Souza to do is maybe use his head to pressure into Jones' jawline to staple him against the, his back against the cage, and that's going to solidify the position a little bit more. Jones had mentioned that he wanted to take this fight to the ground. A nice inside hit by Souza. Jones had talked about wanting to take this fight to the ground when he was pressed against the cage. It wouldn't have surprised me to see him almost jump guard. You know, maybe there's there's a method to the way he wants to apply his jujitsu, and maybe he's better better on top when it comes to grappling. What Jones needs to do here, he's getting that good shot, but he's doing a wrestling shot. He needs to do an MMA shot. He needs to push him off the cage and then pull him. Use the cage to help you cheat the shot. People often forget sometimes the cage can be your your friend in a fight if you know how to use it. And your enemy. <laughs> and your enemy. Kevin Souza looks like he was going for guillotine. He was threatening the neck, but I think it wasn't anything more than just a threat. I didn't really see him applying too much pressure on the on the, the throat there. So Taylor Jones seems to be burning a lot of energy right now. Applying some knees there. I mean, at this point for Souza, when you have your your back literally and fig figuratively speaking against the cage, though, that can make you feel like you're in a position where you have to stress and improve yourself. Maybe that's part of Jones' uh, his strategy here. Just kind of work him here, throw some knees, and then when he feels like he can take him down, he's going to exert himself and get him down a little bit more. Those are some strong hips by Souza, and that was a beautiful nice. judo toss. In the corner of Tyler Jones, we've got Kevin Zozo in top position. Now, what we saw there from Zozo when his back was against the wall, he was patient and he waited and waited and waited. We thought for a second that maybe it was looking bad for him, but when he felt the momentum shift in Jones's hip, he went for that throw, and now he's in an advantageous position here with side guard. I'm very impressed with both fighters, young amateurs, very composed and very professional looking. There, there's a lot of experience between these two. If I didn't know any better, I thought they'd both be walking out here with, here with some checks the way they're fighting, man. You know, very calculated with every movement that they're making here. Ten seconds left in his first round. Not an easy round to score. You know, both had their moments, but a lot of the fight was against the cage. You know, if I'm a judge, it's, it's kind of difficult. I believe that uh, Sosa with that big toss and a few of the reversals is going to win this 10-9. And then the, the importance of ending the round on top for Sosa is, I think, going to play a big a big part of this. You got George Zuniga in the corner of Kevin Sosa giving instructions. 
We got a little replay of Jones applying pressure here, just kind of playing with the feet. You know, I think in this point, he's just trying to lock the position in. Here we saw Souza's patience paid off. Once he got the space there to get his leg through, through the judo throw, ended up in side guard, and that was a story towards the end of the round. Yeah, it's a tale of two corners. Danny Summers is just in the face of Tyler Jones, just giving him eye contact and calmly talking about game plan. On the other side, Zuniga talking to his cousin, Kevin Sosa, and we are about to begin round two. Right, here we go. Round two, we're ready. Yep. Round two, we're ready. Let's go. No touch of gloves by either fighter. Kick. We saw Jones start, head, start fast go, with that left kick. kick, and he's hanging a little bit on the outside a little bit more this round, because maybe I was going to say he saw something in that leg kick. Threw a couple, now he's right back to where we started. Let's see what adjustments he make now that he knows that Souza is capable of launching him if he's a little bit lazy in that position there. Yes, you can't relax. I mean, that, that hip toss was fantastic. Good you The one thing I'm really impressed with is Souza's game, his hand fighting and pummeling skills. He's very good at always getting the underhooks back, hand fighting in there to control his balance. And Tyler Jones, once again, in his own corner. You could be in a better position if you were Jones. It, it's, that's called, it's called experience. There we see Souza digging that underhook, creating space through a knee there. You know, those little knees, knees add up over time. I think people discredit them because they're so quick. But Souza's in a good position here, even though his back's against the wall. And as we saw last round, he may be a little bit comfortable there for certain reasons. He's strong several of those inside knees. Nice arm drag. Sosa's looking for an arm drag technique. Jones making the adjustment, sitting him to his butt. Sosa's still scooting around the corner, though. This is a traditional wrestling position we find ourselves in. Uh, Jones here still on the sweep. Another butt sit. Jumps over the top. Great adjustment there by Jones. Nice mat return by, uh, by Tyler Jones. Sosa threatening a triangle here. Oh, boy. It looks like it is getting... Now Jones, he doesn't need a panic just yet. His arm's in there, so I don't know if the, the, the triangle will threaten from a, a choking perspective. However, Souza being intelligent. I'm not doing jujitsu. I'm fighting off of my back with MMA. I got you in the triangle. I'm gonna split your wig here with some shots. He could finish it right now if he tie clinches him. And similar yet, and he got it. Herbal, 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 tap, herbal yeah. tip by Taylor Jones. That was an impressive, that was very impressive performance by Kevin Souza. Tyler Jones, like I said, if you look at his combined opponent records, a 9-0, and that guy is uh, certainly a seasoned, a seasoned fighter. That was, that was a great fight, man. Like I said, high caliber by like amateurs, man. Like if I didn't know any better, I would have thought these guys were making a living doing this, but we I know they have the you. potential. And, and we talked about the palpable amount of energy between both fighters. Now after we look at the mutual respect. It's, you can see it. Like there, there's both these guys are not faking who they are. They're legitimate fighters. Very impressive. Here Jones in on the sweet position. We saw him a few times. He's going to step back and put and sit Souza to his butt. Now Souza didn't give up here. He still adjusted his hips. In that situation, typically higher hips wins. Souza was able to advance, get the triangle choke, really annoy Jones if anything with those strikes. And then once he saw the opening for the finish, he's going to clasp behind the head and finish the choke. And that's all she wrote for this one. Gets the arm across. That's a beautiful technique there. And right there is where we see two styles blend. Not just doing jujitsu, not just striking, doing a little bit of everything in every space. We send us back to Mike Hansen, make this one official. Ladies and gentlemen, our referee Tom Develis has called the stop to the contest at two minutes, one second of round number two for the winner by submission via triangle choke, Kevin Souza. Kevin Sosa, excellent showing. Excellent showing by these two combatants. Yeah, we didn't get to see a lot of that one loop of boxing out of Sosa, but hopefully the next time. Sosa had different plans today. <laughs> well, he looked like uh, a young Anthony Showtime Pettis with that triangle.